Slavo Gijek is the straight response for whosoever asked how philosophical buffoonery will be. Talking about Marxism now during the 21st century with our new phenomenological spectrum, aliens, Illuminati, harp projects, reptilians, world order, etc. means he has been trapped on academical archaic concepts. It states the sphere where Slavoj was raised with and how he is unable to escape from it, turning him into a slave of his own leftish formation. So funny how Slavoj rhymes with slave. A slave of his Marxism does not look like a free thinker to me. A buffoonery of this sort shows two more things if I may add. 1. The intellectuality, the audience of those philosophical ideas seems weak since it is consuming pretty old recycled formulas not aligned to our modern times. And two, the expositor himself, Slavojiek cannot be a serious thinker throughout the 21st century if he insists in to evoke Mr. Holy Marx to every single matter to be discussed. A serious thinker will adapt to the current screen before him and construct new intellectual tools to analyze that screen with a fresh and original way of thinking. Slavoj cannot do that but he sounds funny when he talks like a cocaine addict while scratching his nose non-stop. A Marxism, Leninist or not, is on a first hand a failed attempt to provide structure to the society of societies. Second. It is a negative photo that draws an ancient era of past times. Can we include, non-touched, the laws of Babylonian or Egypt empires, one by one and all of them as the laws of the state of California? Will that make sense for the men a surfer guys on the beaches or walking freely on the streets? That will be crazy of course, and you understand it is a mad thing. So believe me when I say that Slavoj is philosophical buffoonery when he talks about Marxism in a new world order or global geopolitics based on internet telecommunications. What really worries me is not the maze of beings without intellectual conscience. What worries me is the academic groups inviting him to dazzle the audience with empty speeches that no one seems to really understand and call him a communist rock star. Philosophy is dead it seems, Slavoj confirms our fears when he talks seriously about Marxism on present times. On the other hand, this void or lack of serious intellectuals will necessarily have to create new thinkers better adapted and harmonical tune to this current world.